So, Kate, right from the opening line in this film, I don't. Do you want to give it away? Do you want to say it or not? Well, you'll have to bleep it. We can get away with that. I'm back, you bastards. Right from that opening line, I you love it. suddenly realise this is a completely different film to, to what perhaps you think it's what you think to it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> no. Did you get that from? Yeah, the I did. I loved it. I really loved it. And actually, the script went through a couple of drafts after the original one that I had said, "Oh yes, I really want to be a part of this." And uh, Jocelyn Morehouse had included a few, a few scenes right before that moment. And I said, "No, no, no, no. We've got to, we've got to keep it that way. It's such a mm. great beginning." Because for me, it was just. It was just unflinchingly what it was. It was, she, there she is, that's who she is, and she's back. And, um, and I loved the strength in it, I really did. It's probably one of the best opening lines in any film this year. I mean, it really sort of yeah. throws you in, like you said, the film. The yeah. tone of it, though, it's bonkers, but yes. it's kind of... It kind of works. But don't you love that? Isn't I did. It? It's so nice to see something. It was lovely to be a part of something that is quite bonkers in that way. You know, it has sort of touches of almost Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, just in how it looks and also just how wild it sometimes feels. Um, and it's a fable, you know. It's a fable. It's, 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 it's not real. Um, and so within that, there was lots of artistic creative license that was taken. For example, Hugo Weaving plays a cross-dressing so policeman, <laughs> yeah. gets arrested wearing a matador's outfit. Mm. I mean, it's just fantastic um, and it was so lovely and quite liberating to be a part of something like that the Australian accent we yes. all think in England we can do an Australian accent because we've been brought up watching Neighbours and all that kind of stuff was it so I challenging I never made it to Ramsey you, Street did you I not? was going to go one day and then someone said you know it's like a three hour drive and I went oh, okay no I'm not going yeah, I've seen it on TV it's fine I'll just go out for lunch with Guy Pearce instead how difficult <laughs> is that accent though because we all you know the sort of good aim mate you know, we can all do that, mm. but keeping up and making it believable and not a caricature of the accent. Well, it's, I mean, doing accent, I love doing accents, mm. but, it, you know, they, some of them are harder than others. Um, an Australian, this type of Australian, um, it was quite hard because actually it isn't too heavy. It isn't kind of, um, there is a sort of a, hopefully, a lightness to it. And, uh, you know, my intention with any accent really is just to make it sort of disappear. You know, you just don't want the audience to hear you mm. doing it. You just want it to be there and then go. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I just, I worked with a dialect coach and, you know, did the normal thing I would do to try and get it as good as I could. The hardest thing, to be honest, was not slipping into New Zealand because okay. Kerry Fox, who's also in the film, who plays Tilly's old school teacher, Beulah Harradine, she is a New Zealander and she goes, oh, I haven't got a very strong accent. And it's like, oh God, Kerry. <laughs> Don't do this <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And so I have a scene with her and actually I ended up doing um, a lot of ADR, additional dialogue recording, after the film is shot, specifically on that one scene because I completely became a Kiwi. It was just Kerry and I for four pages straight and absolutely my character suddenly was a New Zealander. It was a nightmare. Just finally, uh, your character's an Australian obviously and a very sexy Australian if I, if I may say. Thank you very much. You really sort of amp this up. It has that sort of old school Hollywood siren that appeal to it. But that was Do you enjoy plan. going that, that I loved far it. Over? Yeah, I loved it. And, you know, playing a character whose identity is so bound up in what she wears, you know, those clothes are almost like her glamorous armour in a way. Um, it was really, really fantastic. You know, it was a little time consuming, making sure the hair and the makeup was perfect and the costumes. And, but all of those things were a real thrill for me. And uh, everything that Tilly wears is a reflection of who she is and what she's gone through. And, um, and the creations that she, that she comes up with for the rest of the townsfolk. It was a lot of fun actually being involved in that process as well, um, much more than I normally would. So, no, it was fantastic. Lovely.